What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another Final Fantasy Brave SVS video and it looks like Gumi and Square Enix have responded to our video in less than a day or at least to the community. So let's take a look and see what they did. Alright guys, so uh, you know a lot of us content creators and uh, community members have been you know, showing our uh, upsetness or our uh, problems with the game. It's too buggy, all this stuff. I've already been over all that. And it looks like Square Enix and Gumi have responded in this um, status update from the operations team. Uh, now, we just had a great stream where we talked about this. And I was going to clip that over. But I thought I might as well do it in a video, um, you know, in a video way anyway. Readjust what I was saying and make sure my points are valid and on point. When we go through this. So I'm going to break this down point by point, And then I'm also going to talk about the bundle they released. Um, as well. So we're going to get into that. So first off, I'm going to read this. We would like to extend our deepest apologies for the frustrations players have experienced. With the issues encountered after the release of the app version 3.4.0. The following is a list of issues that will be fixed. In the upcoming app version upgrade on 2.28 PST. So first off, uh, we're getting maintenance on 2.28. Let's say, hey, a little spoiler there. Uh, but these are the things you're going to end up fixing. And I'm going to give my points on each one. So account binding and unbinding for Facebook and Google. So essentially people have been having problems, you know, switching to Google, going back to Facebook, trying to log in. It looks like they're going to fix that problem. That is very, very important. Obviously, again, these bugs that do not allow people to play the game. These problems need to be addressed. And I'm glad they're showing them here. So this right here is showing us that... Uh, you know, at least those people should be able to log in or should be able to unbind or bind to Google in the proper way. Um, and I'm glad that's getting fixed. That's very important. Next up, countdown down timer for arena orbs. Now, I didn't really care about this because I don't play arena. What I was saying on my stream is after that, it should say, give us the arena updates to make the rewards better. That's what it should say, but I understand this is just uh, talking about bug problems. So fixing the arena orb problem may be really great for other people who enjoy it. So I'm glad they are also addressing this. Next up, UI issues related to Facebook and Google login. So there are problems with trying to log in with Google or uh, Facebook, where I know some people got logged out of the game. All the options were grayed out. That might be what this is referring to. So I'm really glad that's getting fixed as well. And um, things pertaining to the game, as far as logging in, need to be fixed. So you can get in the game and actually play it. Um, next up, we have uh, issues caused by app crashes forced closed during cutscenes. And this is going to be referring to... These story uh, crashes that you guys are getting in the story mode or uh, the bonus stage being really frustrating. It looks like they understand that and that should be fixed by the 28th, meaning that you should be able to go into the story mode. It is extended for a week and take it down. So I wouldn't waste any more energy trying it right now. It is extended for a week and they are saying that it should be fixed by the 28th. So I think these are great changes. Great things need to be fixed, like we said, with bugs. Moving on down, they also say, we are also aware of the following issues and will continue to work to address them in future updates. Social media account logout button. I know a lot of people have been having troubles with this um, and talking about it. So if you've, in the past, if you've ever had an alt account, you ever need to log out of the game for whatever reason, or you just have a family member that maybe plays on the same, uh, like maybe iPad as you do, and you need to log out to let them log in so they can play. Well, that button was taken away. It used to be here, and now it just says change binding. So from what I understand, they're going to add that button back so you guys can log out and do the things you guys are used to doing, maybe if you have another account that you like to get on, or the way I talked about before of how that's going to help you out. So I think it's a great thing they need to work on and get fixed. Next one up is the download size prompt. So I, know, I don't know how many of you guys are frustrated with this. It's getting to the boiling point for me as well where you you open the game uh hey can we download this little bit of data sure uh you go into a fight hey can we download this little bit bit of data yes you get a uh patch can i download this much data yes so obviously uh there's going to be some bug fixes and some patches with this maybe to make, make it not pop up as often what i think now as i've played a million games out there that have a patch button that says download all of it like a batch download so that you're not stuck maybe uh, on your uh, somebody in my stream made a good point uh, they kind of like these alerts because it lets them know if maybe if they're on their mobile data, they don't want to waste it. They wait until they get on the Wi-Fi to download it. But with the batch download, you don't get stuck out there on your mobile data and uh, you go, try to go into a fight maybe if you're playing out there that should already be downloaded. And then it's like, hey, can we download all this data? And it's like, well, why wasn't this downloaded before? The batch download, first off, saves everybody from having to click yes a lot. Then also lets you download it all at once to avoid that maybe when you're on a Wi-Fi connection to save your data. So uh, I'm sure there's a way to have that on and off. That's uh, what I'm hoping with this. But it is a very big point because a lot of games already do this. So it's good they're looking into that. That was another problem I heard a lot of people talking about. Next up, which is kind of insane to me that they didn't know about this problem already, friend list not refreshing. Huge, right? 
because it, it, friend list is the best thing in the game. Again, this bug was referring to there's only two ways to refresh your friend list. You either force quit the app or you used to use a friend. And then, then once you went to go back to your friends list after you use them in battle, a new friend list uh, would come up, like a new, a new sample of your friend list. Now, most games have a refresh button for their friend list. I have no idea why this isn't in Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. I hope they implement that soon. But if not, at least let us be able to use a friend unit and then, uh, you know, refresh the list so we can look for somebody else. Um, the only way you can do it right now until they fix this is to restart the app, like I said, or use a non-friend, somebody without being on your friends list. You know, at the bottom where they have the blanked out espers, that's going to get you that. So I'm really glad they're working on that as well. Um, so overall, they didn't address all the bugs, obviously, but it is a very good step in the, in the right direction when it comes to how they are acknowledging these bugs. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over the compensation real quick. We will talk about that. And down here at the bottom, it does list out what's going to be fixed this Friday, right? Pop-up warning of ex existing account data before load. Loading in a bound account will not appear again after canceling the login attempt once. So that's some kind of bug they wanted to fix. Scrolling banners in the top right corner of the game are not displaying correctly. Minor visual text and language issues are going to be fixed. Missing bundle uh, button in the shop is going to be fixed. Incorrect language being, being displayed on the login option screen. I can't even imagine having login issues and it being a different language than you speak. So glad they're fixing that. Like It would turn me off from playing altogether. Banner on top of the vortex not being displayed correctly. Some of the news were not displaying correctly. Should be was. So I just want to make sure I take this time to state, I know a lot of you guys get upset by the way they talk to you or how things are said, but sometimes it's just translation error, and I know they should be more professional, but there are mistakes made. So sometimes maybe don't take too much of this stuff to heart as there is a language barrier there. Again, big company, shouldn't have that problem, but they do come through sometimes like that. Um, app force closed when accessing the Coliseum for users who had completed all levels prior. So I didn't understand why people are going back into the Coliseum, but apparently it is a daily quest. I don't do daily quests. Um, so yeah, I'm glad they're fixing that because you guys have been having that problem. Bundle price is not displayed correctly, so that's getting fixed too. They continue by saying, we ask for your patience as the team resolves these issues in order to improve the quality of your gaming experience. If you have any, uh, queries or encounter any other issues not listed here, please contact customer support. Once again, our humble apologies for any inconvenience caused. We value and appreciate your understanding. Now, um, I had someone bring this up. There are huge spaces between we, again, our humbles, apologies, our humble apology for any inconvenience caused. And they were thinking this was emphasizing, and they took this as a, like, you know, they took offense to it. They're like, why are they, like, doing that? Are they, like, making fun of us? Essentially, no, I think it's just bad coding or bad writing. Like, I don't think they did this on purpose at all. I don't think they wrote once you know, space bar, space bar, again, space bar, space bar. I think something just messed up there, personally. Again, you got to give them a break sometimes when it comes to this. They are translating this stuff in six to seven, eight different languages. I can't remember the exact amount. So they're having to go through and do this for all apps super quickly. So I'm really happy with how fast they responded. So before we get into the negative, which is going to be the compensation, I do want to talk about the positive. This is excellent. This is exactly what I want to see. You know, I want to see this every single maintenance. This right here, this screen you see every maintenance. Screenix and Gumi, please do it. Do not do this anymore, because they do this. Ah, uh, maintenance is over. We've uh, put the uh, Blacksmith of the Flame extra stages, and we fixed some various bugs. Like, what bugs did you fix? Because, like, without knowing, there are so many gaming companies out there that have long patch notes. They list everything. Change the letter T to the letter I. I mean, I don't know, you know, you know what I'm talking about? To the very minuscule point, that right there doesn't prove that you fixed any bugs. And people are going to be upset when they encounter a bug, when they see various minor bugs have been addressed, because they, they read that as you fix the bugs in the game. Then they go experience a bug, and they're like, what the hell, dude? Didn't you say you didn't fix anything? You didn't do anything. And honestly, you could have not have done anything by just writing this. But... You know, being more open and being more, uh, you know, doing better communication, having this weekly patch notes would be amazing every week. Knowing what we're downloading, knowing what's in there, knowing what you guys are working on. Extend the maintenance patch notes. That is a very strong thing you can have with the community. Show us what you're changing. This is excellent. More of this, please. Okay? Moving on to the negative. Uh, so, everybody, the compensation of 100 Lapis and uh, the Energy Pots obviously wasn't enough. So they've come up with this. We get a five-star select summon ticket. We get one of them. And again, UOC tickets are very, very powerful. You do need 10 of them. Um, however, this one extra should be on top of the two you get in March. So we're going to be getting three total in March. Next up, weekly free 10 plus one summons every week in March. So every week you guys are going to be able to do a free 10 plus one summon. So what exactly is wrong with this compensation? I know a lot of you guys out there may be happy with it. I'm very excited for you if that's how you feel. I want you to be happy. If you're not excited about it, you think the compensation is bad, here's why I think it's bad. While it is an upgrade from the 100 Lapis, okay, while it is an upgrade from that, the 100 Lapis was almost never enough. 
So in their eyes, I think they jump from 100 lapis to this big ballin uh, compensation, and they think, yeah, kudos, we did a good job. High-fiving, you know, fist bumping, we did it, dude, they're gonna love this. The problem I see with this is we know about JP, and we know about their compensation, and we know what they can do. It doesn't hurt the company to give us more stuff. It doesn't hurt the company to show remorse. I don't think this really shows remorse. I think this is more of a band-aid, because how many times have we gotten this weekly 10 plus 1 free summons before? We've gotten it before. What they needed to do was they needed to show a bigger gesture. They need to show us something we've never gotten before. Maybe if the 5 UOC, if maybe it was a five, select something, 5 maybe. You know, put that on there. Or give us like 5k Lapis. Or do something big. Uh, 10 plus 1 summons every day this week. Every day you guys can get in there and get that. That would be awesome. Uh, instead, they give us something we normally get during like, like I was saying on my stream, off, off uh, uh, holiday events. It's uh, St. Patty's Day, and we get 10 plus 1 summons every week for the whole month of March. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it seems like this is like their go-to on like, when they don't have anything to give us, they're just going to give us free 10 plus 1s. Because honestly, they're garbage, right? 10 plus 1s aren't that great. Uh, I know in Japan, for 10 straight days, they got 10 plus 1 summons. So why can't you give it to us for a week? I needed a show of remorse. Like, please, we're sorry. We know we're, we're screwing up. Um, I know we're saying it here, but here we want to show it. We want to show you something big, something you've never seen before. Something to show you guys we care, and this wasn't it for me. Um, in the end of things, I don't give a shit about compensation. I never really have. I think it's a respect thing more so over, and again, making you feel like they're actually sorry, and they actually care. This didn't do it. This ain't it, Chief. Um, now, again, I, I, I welcome that one UOC. That's going to help me get to another 10, help me get another unit. That's very strong. 10 plus one's ass. Okay, it needed to be more than this. Um, however, again, just overlook the, I, I, I don't know how to put that, that's not what I'm saying. Don't overlook the compensation, but remember, we have bigger issues. Summoning units doesn't matter right now, uh, for us, or at least for what I think the game's, uh, problems are. We need content, which isn't addressed here, and we need bug fixes, which is super addressed here. This is how bugs, fixes, and patches should be every single week. Okay, so great job on that. Communication, like this, every week. Don't fall behind. Whoever's doing the bug fixes, patch fixes, just write it down. It literally takes you no time to do this, and it will be wondrous for the game. This will be wonderful if people know what's going on, okay? Um, we need to know about content. Obviously, we can wait. We have the wait-and-see approach um, to see what happens. Or you could have just said, you know, we're going to work harder to release content. But then that wouldn't have really been enough for people, right? But maybe a little mention of it would have been great. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see. Overall, is this enough to get me back to spinning if I was going to back to where I was? No. Because it's kind of like the same thing we've seen before, right? They come out and they say, hey, we're sorry, oops, here's some compensation. Now, it's better compensation than we almost ever get, which is cool. Uh, but it's, it's really not that much in the end if you really look at it. Um, but if it is enough for you, get in there, dude. Enjoy the game. I'm still going to be enjoying the game. People think, like, I I've seen comments on my YouTube video. Oh, you yelled at them, uh, but then you started pulling. Well, first off, the pulls happen on Friday, and I will pull. I will pull when I want to. I'll spend money in the game when I want to. Have I cut back on my pulling? Yes. I was spending $400 to $800 in Amazon coins every month on FFBE. It's a business thing for me. Obviously, I have fun doing it. You guys have fun watching. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole thing, right? It helps it helps me grow my, my myself. I get the most views when I pull. It's fun, dude. I have a fun time, and I hope to bring enjoyment to people. But at this point in the game, one, it's not hype. It's not hype anymore. Two, I'm not happy with some of the decisions they're making. So I went from spending 400 to 800 a month this past month to spending like 70. I bought like one bundle and then like the Fountain of Lapis. That's it. So that's a huge change for me. And it's going to stay that way uh, until I see a little bit more change, right? You, you just can't always believe this, but you still got to have hope. You still got to have positive. So I'm going to be on my stream. I'm going to be laughing. We're going to be doing some trials. We're going to be joking around. We're going to be jabbing at Gumi and we're going to be jabbing at each other. We're going to have a good time. And if that isn't what you want, if you want me just to sit here and be a fucking sad sack, it's not going to happen, guys. So, so again, you, you know that, right? And also, just for everybody, and, and I'm sorry, I got to flex a bit. I, I normally don't flex that much, but I'm flexing right now. I made a video, Hal made a video, other content creators, all of them out there made videos. Reddit put it, put it up, and guess what? They responded. They saw what we said. We made something happen. So kudos to you guys in the community for upvoting, viewing, commenting. That's what it was there for. I've made three to four of those videos in my life. It's been uh, Skeleton King was kind of bullshit, so I made a video kind of ranting that. Then we had the $50 bundle buy that was a rainbow ticket. We ranted about that UOC, and now this. I've made four in about... 459 YouTube videos. I'm looking at it right now. I have on my channel. They're not all about FFB, but most of them are. And I've made four. People say I'm money-hungry view-grabbing. You're out of your fucking mind. I don't need you here. Leave. Leave out of the community. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on this. Again, um, very hopeful, as always, but you gotta be a little... <laughs> we don't know what's gonna happen, but please... Oh, one more thing I wanna point out. And I think it's a problem. 
people are wondering how they don't know about some of this stuff. And while I do blame the business for not being more proactive in finding the, uh, like, like, how are they just addressing the friend list thing, right? How did it take YouTubers going nuts for them to address this stuff? I'm honestly putting some of the blame on us. Because we complain about so much stuff. It's kind of like the boy cries, the, the boy cries wolf. Is that how the saying goes? Where, like, you'll go to Facebook and, like, literally, I haven't gone to Facebook yet. And again, I could be wrong. And I'm, I'm saying Facebook or Twitter. Either one works. I think Facebook is more active. That's why I, I call it out more. And there are going to be a lot of people just talking about this, right? Conversations ass, which it is. It's fine to put that negativity in there. I feel you. Tell them how it is, dudes. I'm down, dude. Do it up. But also, you guys need to tell them positive reinforcement. They need to know that you want this. Because if nobody tells them that we want this, this specifically, that we love these patch notes, these are great, we want more of them, if all they see is like, fuck you, compensation's ass, 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 they're never going to get that fucking feedback that actually changes stuff, right? Like, obviously, yeah, give them the feedback, we want that to change too, but don't leave out the part that you actually like, because you need to tell them what you like so they can make the things you like, you know what I mean? So make sure, you, make sure you're good on that too. If you want to comment you hate all this shit is fucking terrible, good, good, go do that. It's fine. Or you want to say you like it all, that's fine too. But for the people out there who kind of like this and want it to be seen and want them to do it more, make sure they hear your voice. Very important. Okay, very important. Next up, oh boy howdy. The Fan Fest of Choice Bundles coming in today, guys. Only for today. Today's the only offer. Fucking hot sell, baby. Here it comes. And I think this was happening no matter what happened with the video or that or this, by the way. 100% I would put my house on it. That this was coming. This this right here, this bundle was coming today before we made our videos before that. It, it just was. It just it just was. That's what I think, anyway. Um, so let's go take a look at that bundle, and I'll let you guys know uh, uh, what's up with that, all right? So moving on over here to this bundle. I'm looking down on my iPad. That's so why I'm looking down. You'll find it down here. It's not one of the big bundles. It's sitting right here. So what, what are you guys getting? So um, you can see that it ends in a day. So right there, I think that's predatory as fuck. That, first off... It's a bad business move. What day of the month is it? It's the 25th. Everybody normally gets paid on the 1st. What? You, nobody's going to have money for this anyway. Why are you doing this? Bad business. Period. Second off, predatory. So fear of miss missing out. FOMO. Fear of missing out. So you look at this, you're like, oh my gosh, this actually is a good bundle, which we'll go over in a minute. I, dude, it's only for a date. I could buy five of them. The UOC tickets. I got to get it. Bye, 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 bye. Predatory. Don't do this. You don't need to do this to make money. You don't need to. It's not going to be good for you. So we talk about the bundle. You get 3,500 lapis uh, for 25 bucks. That's about even almost on how much lapis you can get if you, if you were to spend 25 bucks in the shop. It's a little bit less. Uh, you get a UOC, four rare summon tickets, which is amazing. They're just four anywhere you want to spend them rare summon tickets. Trust Moogle, 10 mini, uh, ten metal mini twars, which are not maxed out. It doesn't say in the picture. And 300,000 gills. So um, overall, is this bundle worth it? Fuck yeah, it is. It's super worth it, dude. If you would buy four of them, right? If you would buy four of them to equal up to $100, so let's say... You're going to buy a $100 bundle, or you're going to buy four of these. Or you can buy five. That's fucking crazy. But if you're going to buy four, you end up missing out on about $4,000 worth of lapis. Um, 4000 lapis dollars, you know what I mean? So like 18000 is what you get for $100. But here you're going to get 14000 total for four. But you get four UOCs. You get 16 rare summon tickets. Um, and you get all this other stuff too with it. I, 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 It is more worth it than buying $100 worth of lapis. And that you can't say that a lot about a lot of bundles. So the bundle itself, very, very strong. You're going to have to ask yourself, is it worth supporting predatory actions with it ending in a day? Is it to you? Now, if you don't think it's predatory, spend up. And I'm not going to judge you at all. Like, that's the first thing I want to say right now. I never judge any of you unless you're just a straight hater. Then I just, I just write you off. Okay, that's the first thing I want to say. I don't, I don't judge anybody how they enjoy the game, how they want to be happy, how they get, the, how they, all I want to do is have people be happy. Okay, so if you want to spend on this bundle and you, you want to save up, and you think that in the future the game's going to change, and you're like, dude, I don't want to miss out on this. This is, you know, this is how I'm going to be able to make my account stronger and be ready for Axstar or maybe Xeno Gears or these future releases. Get in there; the value's there. But if you're thinking, man, this wasn't enough for me, man, I'm not there. Like, this isn't. I'm, it's too much money for me to spend right now for how the game's running. I don't think they deserve to be paid off for this. Then don't buy it because I'm not buying it, and that's for that reason. Normally, I'd be jumping at this. Normally, everyone should be jumping at it. It is amazing, dude. It's amazing value in my opinion. But right now, not for me. You know what I mean? Uh, but for you, if it is, cool. Uh, I'm down for that. So uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. I know it's been kind of long, but hey, sometimes you got to talk it up and uh, uh, do what you got to do. Um, you know, I'm going to have a later one well, this week. There will obviously be a, um, a uh, news video. So we're hoping to see what we get in the news. Hopefully get some things changes. I'm very excited about this patch. I'm very excited about those patch notes. Compensation sucked. Um, and then I want to do a Myra video because I love... I love her. Look at her, guys. I'm just give this for a second, dude. One of my favorite units in the game by far. This is how I have mine built. I think she's amazing. I think she's a top tier healer. If you already have, again, a seven-star healer, 
uh, CG Fina, um, Ayaka, um, Folka, you don't need her, right? Because you already have one of the great best healers in the game. But she is up there. So if you, you end up wanting to mess around with her, this is how I'll have mine built. It's pretty beautiful. But I want to show her off and showcase her because she's great. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys feel about the notice and what you guys need a little bit more maybe uh, from them. And if you're buying the bundle, again, I just want to know. And then subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.